the circle of Hecker. I'm Lady Amaris. Now I've been asked to tell you the difference between the secret and and the craft or witchcraft. Now, so what is the difference between the secret and witchcraft? Nothing. Well, it's not entirely true. The main difference is the way it's packaged. The use of spells, so let's, let's use a, um, an idea, is, um, the idea of spells. If you talk to a, a Catholic, they would uh, say a prayer to one of the saints, they would light a candle, say to one of the saints, um, to, to pray for, for your, your happiness or your health or, or whatever it may be. Uh, a witch, on the other hand, would use a candle, would do a spell, um, which again, depending on how it's formed, can be a prayer to deity um, in, in order to, to do something for, say, someone's health or happiness or prosperity. So they're both exactly the same thing. It's just that they're packaged a little bit differently. They're, the, the names have been changed to protect the innocent, as they would say. But in essence, they are the same thing. Um, it's just the outer package. So when it comes to um, the secret and, um, and witchcraft, now the secret, again, the difference is in the wording and, and a little bit in the energy that's, that's directed towards there. Um, so this is just my, my personal take on it. Um, and um, I'm, I'm sure other people have different ideas as to, to what it is. But for me, the secret appeals to uh, egoic greed. It appeals to the ego side of the, the, uh, the uh, brain where the ego wants to control, it wants to um, be in, the, in control of the process. And it means that um, it's nicely packaged to appeal to the ego. Um, it's all nice and shiny and um, it's just taken a small part of what the whole encompassing um, array of, of magic is. So it's taken a small part, it's packaged it up, made it nice and shiny, um, given it a nice little new age face and like most things that um, are taken on by what we call now the new age, um, the new age phenomenon, it is a sound bite. It's a small little part that sounds really good, that's nice and flashy and, and uh, packaged up, but it's just a wispy shadow of, of the real thing. It's like smelling the meal, but not actually having the meal itself you're not getting everything. It's nightly, nicely packaged up, but it's a nice little magic pill. It's, you follow the secret and you, all your world's desires will, will manifest. And that's great if you are appealing to the ego. The ego is this uh, bratty little child uh, that wants everything now, like, um, the old analogy of the, the kids in the back of the, the car going, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? That's what the ego is like. It wants everything now. It's, it's that instant gratification thing. And this is what I see the, the secret as being. It's um, instant gratification. It's, it's appealing to those people that want it now. They don't want to actually do any of the work that needs to go on internally to be able to, to truly manifest what they like. Um, and, and to manifest their, 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 their world. Um, they want it now. They want this special little magic pill. They want, I'll, I'll say um, these words and I will be a millionaire. I'll say, the, uh, I'll put a picture on my vision board and I will be a millionaire or I'll be famous. Um, I'll be the next Kim Kardashian or whatever it is that uh, they, they want. Um, not that we want to be Kim Kardashian. Um, but um, that's, that's what it's packaged at. Uh, and as I said, it appeals to, to, to greed. It appeals to um, 
not wanting everything but not actually having to work for it um, and and pretty much if I had if I had a dollar for every person that I've come across that has um, wanted to be wanted to know about the craft about witchcraft um, because they um, want to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend or they want to have someone to love them or they want to be rich and they want to be famous they want um, they want everyone to kind of bow down to them all of those those egoic things that um, pretty much the secret appeals to um, the problem with the secret is that there's some good stuff in there it's just not everything they haven't given you all the all the pieces of the puzzle they've given you one or two pieces and said this is the picture this is it um, they've put um, parts of the hermetic principles together um, and made um, certain things kind of like the, the law of attraction um, and and they, but they haven't given you everything. They've given you one side, but not the other side. So how can you fully um, use all of the, the techniques um, when you only know a couple of them? Um, so the, the difference between witchcraft, true witchcraft and the secret, um, quite a lot. Um, but the first part is about the same. The secret is about um, changing your thinking. Um, and when you change your thinking, then you start to change the world around you. As within, so without. But when it comes to doing that with just an ego face, then that's where true witchcraft and and the secret differ. Um, just think if if you got everything that your ego wanted, you everything that the bratty little child wanted, what type of person would you be? Um, if you take in uh, use it as an as an idea, is that you have your spiritual self, you, the actual. The, the being that you actually are that's that's congealed into this this form that we have now um, on this planet so that we can we can move around in this dimension so we are congealed spiritual energy and in order for us to to move around and, and work in this um, in this plane in this um, dimension we need the ego the ego is there to to help us it is kind of like um, uh, almost the, the front man. Um, at the, at, you know, the, the ego is the mask. It's the front man. It's the it's the persona, um, and which is what we need to be able to to interact. Um, but when you confuse the ego with the actual person, or you confuse the, the ego with you then that's when things start to, to, to come undone. So when you're doing works of magic, whether it's being um, under the guise of the secret or whether you are um, doing a spell and using some of the similar techniques, uh, if it is just about the ego, then um, you're missing a lot, of, a lot of things. And when things don't actually manifest for you, uh, a lot of the time it's because your higher self, your real self, has intervened. It's like the child who says, I want lollies, I want lollies, I want lollies. And um, the parents have gone, no, you need vegetables. <laughs> you want to live and you want to prosper, you've got to eat your vegetables. But the bratty little child, the ego, just went, no, I want, I want lollies, I want lollies. Um, so if you think about all the times that you... Um, have done certain things that have been just purely for your ego and they haven't manifested um, one that can be because you deep down don't believe that you deserve it um, or two there is a there's a higher purpose for the reason that you're on some 
course that you are now, whether it is to learn some kind of lesson or to, to understand what it, what it is to be in a certain predicament. And then once you've learnt that lesson, then your ideas will change. So it's not going to happen with a little spell or with, with just putting images on an image board and, and looking at that every day. Uh, you need to get deep into your psyche to change all of those patterns that you have had for, since the day you were born. And that's going to take time and work. And the secret doesn't really go into that. Um, not in, in a, an in-depth way. The other part where the secret differs from witchcraft is that witchcraft is a craft. It is about uh, honing your skills, uh, understanding the principles and going through the motions, doing it. Um, there's a difference between um, knowing the path and walking the path and when you, when you just know, I would say that knowing it is the secret but walking it is the craft. And that's where the secret and the craft differ immensely. The craft is also about getting in touch with, your, with yourself, with, with nature, and how those rhythms and cycles move within you, and how you are affected by nature, and, and nature is also affected by you, again, as within, so without. Uh, that isn't something that's really touched on with the secret. Again, the secret, in my, in my opinion, is all about the ego. And when you separate yourself from nature, when you separate yourself from the cycles of the, of the earth, because um, we are nature, nature is us, and when you start to separate yourself from that, then ego takes over 100%. And then you, um, you are just the child screaming that I want more lollies um, when you could have the abundance that is around you if you were more connected with yourself, more connected with the earth. But if you are stuck in that little egoic bubble, then you're always going to be screaming for I want, I want, I want, when you realise most of the time I have already. Um, so I hope that clears up a little bit about the difference between the craft and the secret. The secret is, is the smell of the meal. The craft is the meal. The craft is the sustenance. It's the, it's the meat, it's the vegetables, it's that heartiness that, that gets into your body and, and, uh, and really makes a difference. The smell just whets your appetite. So if you are, if your road to the craft starts off with the secret, then that's fine. The secret is fine stepping stone. But if you are always just in the secret and wondering why you haven't manifested that million dollars that you keep uh, on your vision board, um, maybe you need to, to do a little bit more, more deeper research and find out why you want a million dollars in the first place. Um, yeah. So yeah, I hope that explained something, or at least got you thinking about something, about the secret, about the craft, and, and how, you, how you view the craft yourself. And, uh, yeah, merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be.